Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is snow on this go-kart. Last week I got a phone call from a good friend that asked if it was time to turn on the sprinklers. And as much as I want to say yes, because I want to get these lawns going early and started and looking nice, it is still freezing. And last week we hit almost 70 degrees outside. And this morning it was 25 degrees when I went running. I was so cold. I had to put like the leggings back on, the hat back on, gloves, everything. I'm so tired of being cold. And I like the cold, but when it's done, I'm done. This little bitty, bitty, bitty four-wheeler has given me fits since the day I bought it. Now, maybe that's because I bought it without Bonnie's permission, and that's why it's just been a bad omen. But I'm done with it. The kids ride other things now. It is time to get this thing put up for sale for whatever I can possibly get out of it. So now I have to go to the store to repair it just so I can sell it. That's a crappy feeling. Repairing something just so you can sell it is stupid. But I guess, I guess as I say that, I feel like an idiot because I'm repairing an entire house just so I can sell it. Scrap that uh, idea. It's not a bad idea. It's just Stink sometimes, it just stinks sometimes. Had to go buy a new battery for this little four-wheeler to make it start. I don't wanna try and sell it not running, cause that's silly. It would usually run on a kickstart. But somebody by the name of Grandpa Griffiths broke it last year on an RV trip. I will link that video in the description cause it's a good video. You'll enjoy it. I don't feel like tearing into all of this to repair it. I think it's just something come off in there. I've done that before and I just don't feel like doing it. It's just not worth it. So I'm gonna put a new battery in it and make it run by key and that will work good enough for now. She's alive! This little beast runs and it really runs still pretty darn good but I think the kids are ready to move on to something else already so time to go. Bye Big Red. The temperature change from the backyard as opposed to the front yard is unbelievable. The backyard, it's like shady and cool and it's freezing. In the sunlight, it's barely warm enough. It's cold, I mean, it's just freaking cold. But I have a little surprise for Oweevia. That's how baby Abby says it. That's right, baby Abby, she'll always be baby Abby. It's a kickstand. She's been wanting one on her bike for a long time. So I got her one today. Olivia, come here real quick. What? Notice anything particular about your bike? I got a handle, yay! A handle? Kickstand. Uh -huh. I like that. Mm -hmm. I need one. Yeah, you did. Now your bike won't get laid on this basket anymore, okay? When you come downstairs and you hear slightly elevated voices, is that a nice way of saying it? And you see kids running frantically, two things have happened, or one of two things have happened. Kids are either in trouble, or we're cleaning, or both. This is a nightmare. Seeing what the kids have put behind their beds. Look at Cody's face. What you got behind your bed, bud, huh? Garbage? I told the kids they're going to attract mice Ooh. and spiders and ants if they do not stop throwing wrappers and treats and hey. garbage under their bed. This is all from oh, under their bed. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna make you guys spend a night at the new house. <laughs> So you guys realize what you create. Okay, I'm not getting under your bed. Get under there and get me all that garbage. Mom will grab your feet if you get so. sucked in. What's ridiculous is Mommy. I did, I cleaned this out, what? Four months ago? Just before Christmas. Well, we pulled I the bed them. out, pulled everything out. I told them, I was like, this is not okay. This is not funny. And you're going to stop doing this. Like, I know it's normal, but I'm also going to teach you kids. You're going to stop doing this. And that's why I didn't grab the camera. Joel's like, oh, are you recording? I was like, I'm too furious to record. We can't record what we need to record. Another day, a new pile of laundry. I swear, since quarantine, whoa, what on, oh, what is all over this? It's like sharp. What did Joel put in here? Okay, Cody, go get me a wet wipe and then run back. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna cut my fingers. What the heck did Joel, oh, what did he put in here? Oh my gosh, did he forget to shake it before he washed it? Cody's getting me the vacuum if he can. I kind of wiped this out, but I noticed down inside there, can you see all that lint? Wait, yeah. All right, I'll let you see it, but we're gonna try and vacuum that out because that's horrifying. 
Look down where the lint thing mm. usually goes. Do you see how much lint is in there? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna try and vacuum that out. We'll see how it goes. I saw this thing where people like take the inside of a paper towel holder. I don't have one right now, so I'm just gonna get a piece of paper and stick it over the edge, the head of the vacuum, and then stick that down. So like you hold, you like crinkle, you, yeah, you get it. We are still quarantined. And so what I've been doing a lot is I've been organizing my room a lot of the time. Me and my brothers love to do crafts, so a lot of the time we've been doing crafts. A couple of the things that I have made for Valentine's Day, we had to do an Easter basket, and I've always wanted one of these. It's like a, like a, like a unicorn horn that like you can just like sit down and make it look, look really pretty. So I took that off of my Valentine's box. I made it. I actually made that sign. It says my name on it. I made this flower. I have this flower that can turn on. See? I made a little sign that says that I am here and it says that I am not here and then in our bathroom we have a lot of stuff in here and I have my very own drawer that I used to keep like my makeup in that I used to keep my brushes in I still do that but I took my makeup and put it in my room so the boys wouldn't get into it and then this is my drawer where I keep everything and I keep all like my hair bands in there I keep my scrunchies I keep my Vaseline just kind of like back there I usually put this right there. Pretty much organized, so that's what I build. Julie, my sister, did a Marco Polo yesterday. Yes. So on Easter night, she was like, all right, Easter is put away. I, there's one stitch of evidence that it was even Easter, like candy's put away, eggs are put away. And at first I was like, oh, Julie, like let them like enjoy it. Let them like play with it all day. No, it was the most genius idea I've ever so it's Monday morning, Easter was yesterday, and I have broken eggs everywhere. Kids are fighting over it. It's like, okay, let them enjoy it on Easter and then get rid of it. This morning, that's why I went down in their rooms and I was like, all right, if it is not a staple, it's, it's garbage. I'm gonna see if I can do a batch and a half. That's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna freeze the loaves. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, let's just talk about carpet and toy room. When the kids were younger, every single toy that they own, when, I mean, yeah, it would be a disaster, but when I would put it away, I made sure that every single toy had each of its pieces and that there was like nothing left on the carpet, like that there was not like stained or anything. It's like, when did I give up? When did I just give up? And <laughs> I was looking in the toy closet and it's like, there are no toys that have matching pieces. All of that hard work for years and years. No toys have every piece. The carpet is a joke. It doesn't help that the carpet we bought was garbage. My neighbors bought the same carpet and like neither of us wear our shoes in the house. We're super, super clean and it's just like, the carpet looks like it's 20 years old and it's been like five years. I just feel like, <laughs> I feel like I have failed in that area and I just, it used to be really, really important to me. It is important to me but other things became more important to me, like my sanity, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. And are toys really that important? Do I really need to save? I have this like grandeur idea that I'm going to have all the same toys for my grandkids. Come on. Do my kids... Actually, okay, well, it is kind of true. So my kids really like playing with my toys from when I was little. I don't know, it's it's this vicious cycle in my brain. It doesn't matter, I'm not going to stress about it. That's what I'm deciding. Me and Cody want to talk to our cousins so much. Like we want to just like talk, talk, yes. talk, talk, talk. So we've been sending letters and look what I, look what I found in the, look what I found in the mail. <laughs> Cody Clark Helene. You guys, this is a bank statement. It's not a letter from your cousin. What? <laughs> this is a, no! Oh my. <laughs> Why <do I> need <laughs> it because you have a anyway, you have a no, you have a bank account. So do I. <laughs> Did you guys think it was letters from your cousin? Daddy said today Cody's letter would from Russell would come. The kids are so excited. Okay, that is really sad but kind of funny, you have to admit. <laughs> We're all <laughs> he saw that he was 12 years old. Like, oh, my <laughs> 
my gosh, that's so sad.